Okay, so this is the water I took from the tank that I have outside in the garden. I'm putting it in too. You see, to a watering can here. It's going to take a while, but there, there's no rush. I have some time to play with. Okay, okay. It's filling up nicely. Now, into the house. In here, in here, and here. And I've put a bucket inside just so we don't splash too much. Fill it up. Okay, the reason for the bucket just to stop the water kicking up the gravel too much in the substrate. Although, as you can see, it's fairly dirty already, but still. It'll settle. It always does. Okay. So keep on going. And we'll check back in later. I'm going to fill it about halfway, maybe a little less. And then maybe just turn on a filter and leave it filter and settle for a while before I put the fish back in. Actually, found four shrimp in there that I put in over a year ago and I've never seen since. But they were still alive and kicking. So I put them in the tank in the kitchen for now. Okay. Okay. So. Just filling up a bit more of the tank with tap water, I'm afraid. I know what you're going to say. But I've been doing it this way for years and it's never really made any difference. Uh, don't laugh at the clamps. About four months ago I came in here to about three inches of water on the floor when I was doing the water change. So This is the piece of wood I'm going to be putting in it. I think this might be the only decoration I'm going to put in. Um, I'll see, maybe, maybe. Um, okay, as I say, I'm going to put this bin of water in as well, which came from the tank originally, and there's one bin of water already gone in from the tank originally, so all in all, there should be more tank water than there is tap water. But as I say, I've done it for a long time this way and it's never really made any difference. Okay. Okay. The hose is gone. So the only water I'm going to put in after this now is, again, from the bin with the fish in it. Uh, that won't fill it completely. But it will do for now. Over the next couple of days, I'll fill the tank up completely. Uh, I have another few water containers outside that I usually just let the water sit in for a few days. Now what I've done is I've put in an old filter I had up in the shed and I've just filled that with some cheap sponges just back from the Euro shop and that's purely just to get some of the silt out. So I'm going to leave that running for a couple of hours, Just put a heater into the bin, keep them fish happy. And uh, for the top, I'll give it a bit of a skim with a net. So, we'll come back in a few hours and see how it looks then. <laughs> 